Plantation Middle School takes on Bear Middle School in the 14th annual City of Lauderhill MLK Task Force Brain Bowl. I'm Lisa Lee, and welcome to the 14th annual City of Lauderhill MLK Task Force Brain Bowl. Now, this academic tournament is in celebration of Black History Month, and all the questions focus on historical subjects, revealing fascinating answers involving U.S. Black history from the past and present. Now, we are here to announce that Plantation Middle and Bear Middle will be playing in today's championship. So let's hear it for both schools. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, you're probably wondering, like, what are they playing for? Well, the runners up will each receive a prize bag full of wonderful goodies, including a Chick-fil-A voucher for each student. Sounds yummy, right? <laughs> all right, and that's not all. The winners will get the prize bags, bragging rights for their school, a Chick-fil-A voucher for each student, and a $100 gift card. And most importantly, the trophy cup from the city of Lauderhill, MLK Task Force. All right, let's get started. Our first round is called the first strike. In this round, it's school versus school, and each question is worth 10 points. Now, any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. This powerful speaker and self-educated man became one of the most respected black voices. Kennedy? Frederick Douglass. Very good. All right, Bear. Next question. Except as a punishment for a crime, the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution officially abolished what? Kennedy? Slavery. Yes, very good. He was a leader of the African-American protest movement who taught his followers to utilize nonviolent resistance? Yes, Eli? Dr. Martin Luther King. Very good. And this man was the first African American to be appointed to the US Supreme Court. Kennedy. Justice Clarence Thomas. Incorrect, Plantation. Ah, his name is Thurgood Marshall. All right, next question. Born to a poor family in Jamaica, this leader founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association to promote racial unity and pride. Kennedy? Marcus Garvey? Yes, very good. All right, during World War II, the 332nd Fighter Group shot down more than two, yes, Eli? Suzuki Airmen. Very good. The arrest of this bus rider was the catalyst, Eli? Rosa Parks. Yes, that's exactly who we're talking about. Good job. All right, this is the name of the group of African-American students in Arkansas who sought to integrate Kennedy. Little Rock Nine. Yes, good job. All right, this U.S. president known for his Emancipation Proclamation was Jackson. Abraham Lincoln. Yes, that's who he is. Next question. Plessy versus Ferguson was a landmark 1896 U.S. Supreme Court decision that upheld the constitutionality of racial segregation under this doctrine. It's called separate but equal. Our next question is, in 1926, Negro History Week was established, which later became this month. What's the answer? Kennedy. Black History Month? Yes, very good. Next question. These laws passed in the southern states in the mid-1800s further controlled and restricted enslaved people. Yes, Kennedy? Slave codes? Yes, very good. And she was the first woman elected as bishop in the African Methodist Episcopal Church. Kennedy. Bishop Vashti McKenzie? Yes, very good. Oh, well, that buzzer means the end of the first strike round. We do have Bear Middle leading. They have 80 points. Plantation Middle has 30 points. But we'll be right back with more of the City of Lauderhill MLK Task Force Brain Bowl right after these messages.
Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. The Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen-produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student-produced news show by teens for teens. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. the annual City of Lauderhill MLK Task Force Brain Bowl. Our first round of this championship match ended with Bear Middle leading. They have 80 points. Plantation Middle has 30. Now before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet the competitors from each school. We will start with the students from Plantation Middle School, starting with Lila, who's an eighth grader. Now the question of the day is, in lieu of Black History Month, is there someone historically that you would like to meet? Um, I would probably say Oprah Winfrey. All right, that's a good one. All right, Eli, you're in the eighth grade as well. Who would you like to meet? I would like to meet Frederick Douglass. Oh, wow. And the captain of Plantation's team is Raul. You're an eighth grader as well. Who historically would you like to meet? Muhammad Ali. All right, very good choices. Let's go ahead and meet your competitors. They're from Bear Middle School. We'll start with Jackson, who's in the seventh grade. Welcome. I would like to meet uh, Kobe Bryant. Oh, all right, very good. Kennedy, you're a seventh grader. Who would you like to meet? I would like to meet Michelle Obama. Ah, oh, all good choices. And the captain of Bears team is Lucia. You're a seventh grader. Yes, uh, I would like to meet Whitney Houston. Ooh, she was my favorite. All right, and now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two. The joust hair player from each school competes head to head with a toss up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, are you ready? So it's time to joust. We'll start with our captains, Raul and Lucia. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. What mode of transportation did the Freedom Riders take in 1961? Lucia? Mom, uh, Montgomery bus boycott. Incorrect plantation, Raul? They took buses. They took buses. Okay, don't worry, I have another question for you. Which national holiday is always on the third Monday in January? Yes, Lucia? Third Monday? Oh, wait. I understood the question wrong. Okay, it's incorrect. Plantation Raul? Kwanzaa? Incorrect, it's the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. All right, we're gonna move on to Eli and Kennedy. Here's your toss-up question, it's worth 10 points. Which amendment granted African Americans the right to vote? Eli. The 15th. Yes, very good. <laughs> Bonus question number one, solve for plantation. From 1914 to 1920, about 500,000 African Americans left their homes in the rural South to seek jobs and settle in Northern cities. What was this known as? The Great Migration. Very good. <laughs> Bonus question number two. This term was used in the 1830s for the name of the secret system of safe houses for runaway slaves. Anyone Under in Plantation? Under Eli? Underground Railroad. 
Very good. Bonus question number three. Isabella Bumfrey was born into slavery, became an abolitionist, and eventually spoke out for women's rights. What's her name? It's Sojourner Truth. All right, our last players. We have Jackson and Lila. Here's your toss-up question, worth 10 points. A writer of fiction, poetry, and plays, she is best known for her autobiography, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Jackson? Maya Angelou. Yes, that's who we're talking about. Okay, Bear, all these questions are for you. Bonus question number one. Incorporated in 1944, UNCF is an organization, Kennedy? United Negro College Fund. Very good. Bonus question number two. This era lasted from about 1954 to, yes, Kennedy? Civil rights era? Very good. Here's your third question. This U.S. president has won two Grammy Awards and was the first African American to hold that office. Kennedy. Barack Obama. Yes, very good. Okay, there's the buzzer. That means the end to the joust. Bear Middle is still leading. They now have 120 points. Plantation has 60 points now, but we'll be right back with more of the 14th annual City of Lauderhill MLK Task Force Brain Bowl after these messages. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. The Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student produced news show by teens for teens. with the 14th annual City of Lauderhill MLK Task Force Brain Bowl. And we've got a good game going as Bear Middle is holding on to their lead over Plantation Middle. Our current scores, 120 to 60. And during the break, Plantation, they subbed out one of their players for their alternate, and her name is Emma. Emma, welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Our schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time the questions are now worth 20 points. Remember, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. All right, schools, this is for the championship and that trophy right there in the middle, the final showdown. First question, in 1909, who became the first African-American to reach the North Pole? Kennedy. Matthew Henson. This principal of colored school number four in Delray Beach from 1923 to 1950 played a key role in the black community assisting with first time home buyers and financial literacy. We're talking about Solomon David Spady. This prominent dentist and civil rights activist was at the forefront of the 1964 St. Augustine Beach Integration Protest. He lived in Lauder Hill until his passing in 2015. His name is Robert Haling. Name the proclamation that declared that all persons held as slaves within the rebellious states are and henceforward shall be free. That's the Emancipation Proclamation. Many considered this song as a civil rights anthem with lyrics, yes, Kennedy? We shall overcome. Known for quotes like, I am the greatest. Yes, Jackson? Muhammad Ali. With alumni like Thurgood Marshall and Tony, yes, Emma? Howard University. Yes. This scientist's research transformed agricultural development. Yes, Jackson? George Washington Carver. 
1992, this woman became the first African-American woman astronaut in space. May Jemison? Yes. yes, Emma. Who was the first African-American woman to receive a patent? Her name is Sarah Good. Which African-American female millionaire, entrepreneur, and inventor started out by washing laundry? Oh. Yes, Emma. Oh, uh, Madam Fiji Walker. Which of the following black inventors developed the blood bank? That's Charles Richard Drew. She was a famous civil rights activist who wrote my Life with Martin Luther King. Yes, Kennedy? Coretta Scott King. All right, and that sound brings an end to the 14th annual City of Lauderdale MLK Task Force Brain Bowl. We do have a winner, and it's Bear Middle. They held on to their lead over Plantation. We are ending with scores of Bear Middle 220 and Plantation with 120, making Bear Middle our 2022 champions. Congratulations. All right, good job to everyone. And what a great game and tournament. All the schools involved have been incredible this year. So let's hear it for them one more time for these two fantastic Broward County schools. And don't go anywhere because we're gonna be right back to present all of our awards. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen produced news program produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student produced news show by teens for teens. Thanks for joining us. I am your host, Lisa Lee, and we are here ready to give away the prizes for the 14th annual City of Lauderhill MLK Task Force Brain Bowl. You just watched an exciting show, and now it's time to give a shout out to the teachers behind the scenes who helped make this possible. We are going to call up from Plantation Middle, Kamaria Carter Martin. We also have from Bear Middle School, Diane Emrith. Where are you ladies? Come on up. These are our superheroes who don't wear capes, but we know that what they're doing every day in the classroom is so important, and we thank you both. So we're gonna start with you, Ms. Carter Martin from Plantation Middle. How do you feel about how your students performed today? I think they did a wonderful job. I'm very proud of uh, Plantation Middle School students today. That's right, all right. And then we have from Bear Middle, we have Ms. Diane Emrith, and your team won today, so congratulations. How do you feel about their performance? I'm extremely proud of my students. They worked very hard, studied hard, and we are just very proud to be taking home that much coveted trophy. Ooh, I like it, I like it. Sounds like Plantation, you're gonna be back next year? Yes, please. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I think we have a rivalry going on here, and I like it, all right? It means the kids are gonna be learning more, and they'll be back next year. All right, so before we go ahead and start giving away the prizes, we'd like to thank the sponsors one more time for making, of course, all of this possible. And the City of Lauderhill and the MLK Task Force, we thank you so much. We can bring you guys out if you'd like, if you'd like to come out. And at this time, we'd like to have you all come to give out the prizes, our task force. And let me tell you what all of these students will be getting. Each student is going to receive a backpack full of wonderful prizes. They're being handed out now, congratulations. Take a look and see what's in there. You also have Chick-fil-A vouchers inside. So enjoy, they're taking 
their time to look at these prizes. So let's go ahead and give them a round of applause, both schools. They're opening up gift cards. They're getting gift certificates. And now for the winning school, I just want to let you guys know again, I know I announced it earlier, but each of them are going to receive a $100 gift card. So congratulations, their middle school. Last but not least, um, for the trophy presentation, we're going to bring out our commissioner from Lauder Hill. His name is Commissioner Lawrence Jabo Martin. Come on out. I asked him earlier how he got that nickname. He said it was actually on the football field. So how do you feel about today? Hey, I'm, a I'm just pleased to be here. I want to say congratulations to both schools. I think y'all did an awesome job. To the teachers, to the MLK committee, uh, great job, job well done. We know we've been working through some uh, just things dealing with COVID and everything. And we were just determined to get this up and running. And again, congratulations to both schools and excellent job. And thank you for hosting. Aw, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. And thank you for everyone who participated. All right, so Commissioner Martin, would you like to present the trophy to Bear Middle School? It's my pleasure to present to Bear Middle School a 2022 14th annual MLK Task Force Rainbow Championship. They worked so hard, so hard for that trophy. So thank you all for watching. And that's going to wrap our 2022 14th annual City of Lauder Hill MLK Task Force Brain Bowl. Thanks again for watching. I'm your host, Lisa Lee. We hope to see you next year.